Hi, welcome to today's presentation. In today's presentation, we're going to look at vectors and the question we have here reads, in the figure below, the position vector of P is given by P and position vector of R is given by R and then the ratio PQ to QR is 1 to 2 and PS is equal to 3PR. So we have the diagram as shown here and then express QX rather QS in terms of P and R. So first we will be required to interpret these ratios. So we are told that PQ to QR is 1 to 2. That is from P to Q and then Q to R we have the ratio 1 to 2. We are also told that vector PS is 3 times PR. So if we have PR as 1, then the whole of PS is 3. So if P up to S is 3, then from R to S should be 2. So that the whole of PS becomes 1 plus 2, and that is 3. So with that interpretation, we can therefore try to work out the problem. We are told to express QS in terms of P and R. So we will proceed in this manner. We have QS. Now vector QS directly we can obtain as the position vector of S minus position vector of Q. So S minus Q. In this case we are going to get OS and OQ uh, independently and then we come and combine them by subtracting. So we have OS sorry this is O so if you move from O to S, O, S, then we can take these roots. You can decide to follow O, R, then R, S, and you can also take O, P, P, S. Remember, we need to take the root that contains R and P. So we cannot just decide to follow O, Q, Q, S, though it will still give us a uh, same result, but it makes it a little complicated. So just follow the path that already contains what you are required to get. So we are required to express QS in terms of P and R. So I'd prefer we take the path OPPS. So OQ or rather OS is OP plus PS. But OP we already have it here directly. So what we need is PS, but PS from the question we also told PS is thrice PR. So this is similar to having OP plus PS and PS is thrice PR. And again, this will be expressed as PR is just position vector of R minus that of P. So we have OR minus OP. So already we know what OP is and we know what OR is. So we just say vector P plus 3 into R minus P. So opening the brackets, we will have P plus 3R minus 3P. That is for OS. Next, we look at OQ. Vector OQ here from O to Q. We can even decide to use a uh, ratio theorem. So we can say 2 over the all of this. That is 2 plus 3. So we have 2 over 3 times vector P. So we have OQ is 2 over 3 vector P plus then you come to this other one 1 over 3 times vector R. So we'll come and say plus a third vector R. So 
this already is OQ. With this, I think we can now get QS. So QS is OS and OS we have as P plus 3R minus 3P minus OQ and OQ we have as 2 over 3P plus a third R. Remember this bracket here is important because when you're subtracting every factor will be considered in this expression. So when you open the brackets the sign here will be affected. It will be negative. So this simply gives us, so we can even simplify this as 3R minus 2P and then here we have minus 2 over 3P minus a third R so that we finally have 3R minus a third R collecting the like terms that will give us 2 and 2 thirds of R and then here we have minus 2P minus 2 over 3P this again gives us negative 2 and 2 thirds P and thus we have finally obtained vector QS and we've expressed it in terms of in terms of P and R as required so that is it for this question thank you for watching see you next time